Tiffany Davis on the scene at the New York Court of Appeals. Now we're awaiting a decision from Judge Cardozo in the case of Paul Scrap versus Long Island Railroad Company. This case has been on appeal for a long time now, and this could be a landmark ruling. Let's take a look at the facts of this case. Two years ago, Ms. Paul Scrap stood here waiting for the train into the city. Like any other passenger that day, she was minding her own business and anticipating a day well spent with her family. As Ms. Paul Scrap waited, there was a commotion at the other end of the platform as tardy passengers tried to catch the 9 a.m. train set for departure. As two men jumped onto the train, they were assisted with pushes from the railroad employees. The employees pushed the men onto the train so as not to fall off. However, because of the push, one of the passengers accidentally dropped a package containing powerful explosives. The falling package exploded upon impact with the railroad track, sending a shock so jolting that it dislodged scale, which then fell into Ms. Paul's gap, injuring her badly. Will the court find the railroad company liable for the accident, which Paul's graph said was due to the assistance of the employees? Should the railroad company be liable for the actions of their employees, even though the employees did not know of the explosives? When bad things happen, somebody has to pay. So far, the trial court and the intermediate appellate court have awarded judgment to the plaintiff, Ms. Paul's graph. This just in. The Court of Appeals has reversed the decision in favor of Paul's graph and found Long Island Railroad not liable. Judge Cardozo stated there was nothing in the situation to suggest to the most cautious mind that the parcel wrapped in newspaper would spread wreckage throughout the station. This is a landmark ruling in tort law regarding the scope of liability. With this ruling, one who is negligent is liable only for proximate cause, the harm or injury that is foreseeable, and not for unforeseeable injuries that result from the negligence. This limits the scope of liability for Long Island Railroad Company and holds them not liable. Now the dissent stated, everyone owes to the world at large the duty of refraining from those acts that may unreasonably threaten the safety of others. Unreasonable risk being taken, its consequences are not confined to those who might probably be hurt. Now we ask, what do you think? Do you think that Ms. Paul's graph should have been awarded damages for being the innocent and injured bystander? Or do you agree with the Court of Appeals that the Long Island Railroad Company should only be held liable for foreseeable accidents? We ask your opinion. So log into our website or text LAW111. Thank you. And reporting live, Tiffany Davis.